Do you think we'll ever get closer to the beach? <laughs> Not for eight bucks a person. Where are we? Bahia de Los Angeles in Baja, Mexico. We got a little... Palapa. Oh. Palapa is next to us. I'm Gio, and this is Allie. And we live in a van full time as a family of four. And our goal is to adventure, show the kids new things, do hard things, and sleep in as many places as possible while we're out on the road. Drove up a little, a little ways, maybe an hour from San Felipe, trying to find the hot springs. So we're here camping, um, just parked. Allie's trying to chat with a local to see uh, what our next move is going to be. So we are about 90 kilometers south of San Felipe in Baja. Um, I believe it's called Puerto Sitos, and it's hot springs, natural hot springs. So Got the ocean behind us. I'll take you through a little B-roll on the view because it is so windy down there right now. Can't really get good audio. So pulled into this campground, um, seemingly way off the beaten path, but easy enough to get to. Probably typical Baja, but it's a newer experience for us. Um, gonna take a dip in these hop springs. Hopefully we can get in. We this is just a stop through. We saw the hot springs. That was pretty cool. Now this is just a overnight spot for us to truck a little bit more down the coast tomorrow. Um, kind of hard here. Connectivity is zero. Actually left a few people hanging back home. Uh, with the gym stuff that I feel bad about. So that's always hard. And uh, we're just getting deeper and deeper into Baja. So hopefully the next town should have a little bit more uh, service so we can make calls, update family and friends. But uh, yeah, for now, walking out in this amazing bay at low tide as the sun sets. And uh, we uh, set up for another night camping in Baja. Here we go. Cool to be plugged in on the beach, but really interesting. This whole little town we were in, which is just this coastline right here, which I'll roll some B-roll over, is powered by a generator that turns on after sunset and runs until 10 o'clock. So the light didn't work and the power didn't work until the sun went down. And then we were able to plug in and turn some power on. Just wild to think about. You can't turn your lights on, cook, do any of that until the sun goes down. Grateful to be a part of it and be immersed in it, but what a wild experience. Morning. Still have my winter hat on because it's cold. The heat's actually running in the van behind me, but oddly enough, I had a really good night's sleep in the small little town. Super quiet, super dark. the next adventure. This is crazy. Fans right behind us. Ocean is on the other side of me. We have this amazing little Palapa village of our own. Lounge chair. Bahia has been so special. We made our way here after the hot springs. We have this little Palapa we're hanging out in. Went out for street tacos last night. We're exploring the ocean via paddleboard, seeing stingrays and fish. Uh, during low tide, we're out there picking up all these crustaceans, looking at mostly all these crustaceans, showing the kids. Uh, it has just been such a Baja experience that we we're inspecting. Uh, we are, you know, it's sunny, it's not as windy. We're in shorts and t-shirts most of the day. Uh, sunrise was absolutely beautiful this morning over the mountains in the bay we are. There's mountains behind us that way. So um, between the street tacos and the time on the water and the warm weather, this has just been such a cool Baja experience for us. Uh, the nerves are starting to settle. We're in Camp Archeleon, I believe. 
uh, is named, and it is just... There's a lot of travelers down here. There's a lot of truck campers. We're with now four other vans, trucks, airstreams that we know. Uh, so we feel safe in like your own little oasis here. We are just so grateful for this experience in van life because this keeps happening. We think we kind of know everything. It's like the 18 year old who's got it dialed in, like knows life, understands it. You know, then the college student who's like, I've been enlightened. You know, I know exactly what's going on. You know, same thing with the van or as we travel, like we know what's happening and all of a sudden we have a new experience with new people um, under different conditions. Like, whoa, that opened our eyes up to something that was, you know, way outside of our comfort zone and opened us up to a whole new way of doing it. So then we have that experience to rely on and latch onto and learn from um, just so much growth. So cool.